Welcome back. Jake Steiner from Enmiopia. Q&A questions. Uh, how much should a newbie change when they first discover Enmiopia? First of all, people get really excited when they figure out, when they get past the skepticism, when they realize that you don't need glasses, you can reverse your adopted dependence, that all of this is actually possible. The number one biggest, most common mistake, number one is reducing too much. I'll try to link the 10 most common mistakes below. Avoid them, you're gonna save a lot of time. Reducing too much, and number two is changing too many things. It's super important. Besides, don't reduce a bunch of adopters before you know what you're doing. Be careful with reductions. But the main thing on this Q&A is don't change a bunch of stuff. You realize that lighting matters. You realize that your close-up habits are terrible. You realize that the phone sucks. You start measuring your eye. You're getting an eye chart. You're getting all of this new perspective and you go, wow, crap. My general lifestyle is really bad for my eyes. Understand, it's super important, but don't make a bunch of changes. What works the best is little surgical, small edits. Right? Like you get your differential glasses, you get close-up glasses that are correct for the distance. Past that, don't mess with anything. Don't mess with your desk setup. Don't mess with your lifestyle habits. Don't throw away your phone. Don't delete all your apps. One little change at a time is the most effective for knowing the impact of the change, right? Like you run into this and you change 10 different things immediately. You don't know what worked. And if maybe one of those changes aren't awesome for you, or unsustainable and you're gonna lose it or all of your newfound habits, you're back to square one. So to, if you really, at the end of the day, wanna get rid of your glasses, the way to do it is one little itty bitty change at a time, which the first one is figuring out differential glasses, right? And then when you wanna mess with lighting and then when you wanna address your phone addiction and all the other stuff, awesome. While you're excited, make yourself a list of all the stuff you'd love to change. Don't change all of it at once. Super less productive. One little thing at a time. Learn to measure so you realize, wow, I can see better on eye chart. Wow, I have less eye strain from my differential use. After a month, you go, what is the next little itty bitty thing I'm going to change? Helps maintain momentum. Way more fun. Way easier to troubleshoot. It's the way to do amyopia. That's it for this one. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.